Today I'm going to show you my thought process taking this dress photo in a scenario that in my opinion presented several challenges. What's up everyone? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alan Martinez and I'm an international wedding and lifestyle photographer. And in this segment, I break down how I take certain shots. We all know how important the wedding gown is to the bride and how much pressure we have as photographers to get a solid shot of that dress. These days, photographers, at least those who care, spend a good amount of time getting a really good shot of the dress. Sometimes even putting that dress in sketchy places myself included so the pressure is on on the wedding day where are you going to hang that dress to take a nice photo or video of the dress where the background is attractive and the lighting is good the pressure is definitely on now i'll be the first one to say this is not an award-winning image by any stretch of the imagination how artistic this image is is not the point of this video however i think the thought process here will show you a thing or two a little bit of background information as to why I thought this was a challenging scenario. First, just trust me when I tell you I could not photograph the dress in the room for multiple reasons. For starters, this hotel has really high ceilings and straight edges everywhere with no opportunities to hang the dress. So I decided to take the dress and the shoes downstairs to see if I could photograph it anywhere else in the hotel. I brought with me one camera body, one lens, one flash and one wife. Well my wife. The only place I found to hang the dress was this gazebo and trust me I looked everywhere. But he had these umbrellas in the background, hotel staff with really bright shirts, the dress would be in the shade and it was really bright and sunny on the outside of the gazebo. I mean he had quite a few challenges but I'll show you how I worked around them. So first I shot this nice and tight from the side with a dark background and I got this shot. But I wanted more and something different. So I moved the dress to the center of the gazebo for a more symmetrical shot and with some blue in the background. However, the background was very, very busy and it was not usable unless I found a different vantage point. So I saw a hedge of trees on the other side of the water which I thought if I lowered my vantage point I might be able to use the hedge to cover the cluttered background. Then I knew the dress would be in the shade and therefore dark if I exposed for the sky and vice versa if I exposed for the dress the sky would be blown out. I had one flash with me and no light stand. I had no room for a light stand anyway so I took three bags from a cornhole game that was there by the pool and used them to prop the flash up facing towards the dress. The wind was crazy so I had my wife hold the dress until I was ready to take the shot. I focused on the dress, recomposed the picture using rule of thirds so I could use this picture for an album spread later. I waited for the wind to calm down and give me an opportunity. My wife let go of the dress and boom, this is what I got. I did a little bit of tweaking in Lightroom and this is the final product. This photo will no doubt be used in the bride's album and I wanted you to see how no part of this picture was by luck or chance. Every single part of this photo was thought out from A to Z. I hope you realize that the best tools and equipment are the ones that you have with you when you need them. Yes, it would have been nice to have had a bigger flash or a different lens or a cleaner spot to photograph that you didn't have to do all this work, but that wasn't the case. That's what we had to work with and that's how we made it work. If you like this video, give it a like and share it with anyone else you also think may find it useful. If you're not already a subscriber, consider subscribing and hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. It's good to see you here and I'll see you on the next one.